one of the things you can buy on Timu are these artist soft oil pastels from Tavoloza or Tevoloza. I'm not really sure how to pronounce that. But the thing is that you can buy these ones on Amazon, but you can buy them also on Timu. And on Timu, they are much, much cheaper. The ones here that I got are from Amazon. So I cannot really tell you 100% that they will come in the same shape. <laughs> Maybe they will be in a better condition there or here. I'm not sure. But I saw that they also have them there and they are much, much cheaper there. So this is a 48 set. We have 36 basic colors, 6 metallic colors and 6 fluorescent colors. I have a feeling that they are a little bit over the place because... I can feel some bumps here. So let's see how they look like. Okay, okay, not bad, not bad. Only one is out of place. That is actually this one. Oh, oh really? You came from here? No, I think they, they all moved from there. So as you can see, they are packed uh, additionally with this uh, plastic. At least that is something because otherwise it would... Oh, they are... So I have to tell you that I I did take them out of my post box right now, like really a minute ago. And they are pretty warm because the sun was shining directly into that box. So uh, I see that they did, did melt a little bit. But that is not because of Amazon or Timu. That is because of my post box, which is directly in the sun. I just wanted to make that clear um yeah let's let's open this up so uh a positive thing is that they are not small that is definitely a good thing uh, they do not have a, the same smell as the pentels or i just have to make that clear they do have a little bit of the smell but that could be because they were in the sun right now and as i said they smell more of oil nothing else nothing chemically like the pentel ones so let's <laughs> the problem is i think i will leave them uh, be a little bit on the room temperature just to cool down they are a little bit oily right now um they have color name on them cobalt blue for example and they have nice size but as i said because it can be only because of the sun right now maybe they are in general not good made i'm not sure but the wrapping is is already down but i feel that the wrapping is really fatty like oily and in my opinion yes it can be because they were in the, in the sun and the oil came out of them and loosened up the, the glue but it can also be that in general they are like that i cannot tell you that but um, as i said i like that they have a normal size i will be testing them out and see how they perform and yeah let's just take a look at them and see how they perform after they have cooled down a little bit
day so so they are definitely better than some other brands that i tried out uh, but we will see i have ordered another set of faber castell to try them out again but also from this really small test they are better than faber castell or jackson or that really cheap mugio 50 set uh, this color is really nice but the brighter blue is not so good the metallic ones are okay i'm really impressed by these neon ones i do not like neon colors but this i mean i will probably never use them but these ones are really strong so they are really neon now that i look at these ones the other ones look so pale but if i cover them like this these are nice colors uh, but yeah so you get the ne neon colors if you want colors like that i do not think i got neon colors in any other set of oil pastels that i have so let's see let now i have the white let's see what will happen hmm okay i mean it's not the worst white it is mixing with the color underneath but hmm okay this does not look so bad look how what a nice mixture it is also on this paper hmm, okay so let's try them out on that canson excel sand grain or whatever it is called paper so so that is this paper this paper works nice with oil pastels the ones where i did the swatches is the academy fabriano paper so this one is also used by some artists but i do not like it so much for the oil pastels at the beginning i thought it would be good but to no. know the reason why i do still do the test on this paper and the swatches is because i did all the other oil pastels on it so that's why i'm continuing that way i can compare them but yes this paper the canson xl is a better paper for oil pastels so i will be testing the, that out here as you see here i have one painting i did here is another one i think there is yes there is also this one but okay let's see how these oil pastels are going to be on this paper ah uh, yes i forgot to tell you so there were three colors these three this red one and these two pinks which were really strange um, i did not have with this one it felt really dry and like i could not put the pigment the pastel on the paper uh, also the same here it was slippery so let's try that one actually on this paper yeah it feels the same it feels really um, yeah slippery for some reason i don't know why so there is not a lot of pigment there and i i am actually oh this is strange look at this i'm actually removing the pigment wow okay i think i did not have this with other ones oh okay and it's down uh let's try another color let's try one that was better i try this one. Oh, i think you cannot see it really well but yeah this is much better so this is not the same oh okay so this one sticks to the paper and you see how nice it covers the paper and actually it's not getting off maybe if i really rub it no it's not getting off it's just like being uh smudged on the larger surface while this one <laughs> I was removing it from the paper strange there is something strange with that pink one um what else let's see let's see this this gold one on this paper because i was not so impressed with the gold yeah no it's not really opaque um, and also this one is like more going down where i <coughs> when i smudge it with my finger Mm, I see it now. It is. I have a feeling I see the shine much more now than when it was on the white paper. And let's see. Let's try the white one. Oh, oh, this is nice. 
Okay, the white one is nice on this paper. Oh, you can you can put nice white marks here. Ooh. Oh, okay. I did not expect it. This is nice. Okay. Uh, what else should? Let's see if the yellow ones. The yellows are usually not opaque. So I have here a couple of yellows. I tried the pentel. I think the Van Gogh, and they are all. None of them is opaque. Hmm. Use a clean finger. Oh, this looks much better than the other ones. And let's try this one. I have the feeling that the yellow ones are a bit more opaque than from the pentel. So I think these oil pastels are actually not bad for the price. You know, as I said, they are much cheaper on the Timu website, but you can also order them from Amazon. Uh, around, I'm not sure, 15 euros. On Timu, they are around 10 euros or even less. For 48, uh, in a really, in a normal size, that is nice. That is nice, and I really like the white one. And let's see, maybe just a little bit of the mixing. Let's take that one and maybe a little bit of this one. Oh, wow, this one goes really nice on top of that one. And this pale one, this one also looks nice. Yeah, 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 I think it can work. Uh, I had had uh, too little of this blue one here, I think. But yeah, yep. Um, I have to say I'm okay with these ones, so they are nice. If you do not have a lot of money and you want to try oil pastels, especially on this paper, and this paper is also on the budget side, these ones, Tavolozza or Tavolozza, I think it's Tavolozza, this should be an A, I think, um, not bad. Okay guys, uh, thank you for watching and see you next time, bye!